bring it to the table, boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite, boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it, boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it, boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Mr. Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 Walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go ahead and like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Threads, you name it, we're on it. Just go ahead and type in Boss Talk Podcast 101 on any platform and you can find us. Thank you in advance. Man, hey, man, guys, we got a special guest in here today. This man all yeah. about filming, okay. right? Yeah. Yeah, this this, this guy all about uh, uh, videos. Okay. Uh, he stays busy. Uh, his father is a friend of mine. That's how this yeah. all came together. Yeah, we yeah. got to keep it all the way G. No cap. Stop playing. Right in the hood, too. Doobie is in the building, man. Make sure you speak right in that mic. Pull that mic up a little bit to you. No cap. No cap. Uh, Make really. sure you add the B at the doobie. doobie yeah, you B. go Doobie B. Doobie B. Doobie you know B. What you know what doobie saying? B, what's going on, man? You done snuck up on Boss Talk 101, man, no and cap. stung us with some knowledge. Let's see what's going on, man. I want to hear about the whole project. What you no got cap. going on So uh, I know y'all deal with filming And everything else man yes. But we, let's get all the way into it man Give me a spill on, on, on What even got you into dealing with Film, video When the oh. first time you picked up a camera Oh that's mm -hmm. deep shit First time I picked up a camera shit Right there Shit Late June Village shit Nigga shoot yeah. my own videos and shit I was I was actually a musician first I started off as a rapper first And then that's the easiest thing to do. Yeah. That's yeah. what everybody do. Yeah. Because you can just, I can say I rap right now. I, I put the, the, yeah. Nah, I was really doing it. Though. But I'm just saying, that's <laughs> the easiest thing to do. Yeah. The musical part, when you start looking at the producing and all that, that take a little bit more of a, you know, some drive and motivation. That's why when I see somebody's producing, you'll usually see a producer on here a lot faster than you will, or yeah. a videographer on here a lot faster than you will, an artist. Okay. If you go back and watch Boss Talk and really look at it, we look at the, the, more of the artistry, you know what I mean? Yeah. As far as the, the, the producers, right? When mm -hmm. we first started, it was more about the behind the scene. I had BC on there, mm -hmm. people who really was trying to do things with the label, A&R and, &R and, and all that good stuff. Okay. But I like to see the process because a lot of times that goes un, unseen. Yeah. And I like oh, that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you got that damn camera. Well, what did you setting it up on? What kind of camera did you pick up at first? Oh uh, shit! One of them little old square, little bitty cameras. Canon? Mm. Nah, not even Canon. The, what's the you know the the, the, the ones your granny I have and be like, baby, let me get you, let me get your picture at the graduation. Polaroid. Them little bitty Polaroids, yeah, them really, bitty, yeah, hell yeah. Wow, and and so with batteries, uh, double A's. <laughs> and who you got with you today? Let's introduce everybody. Ah, uh, this is my guy, Lion Man. He's a actor. actor. He's a fighter in the movie. Cause okay. we got a movie coming What's out. What's the name of the movie? The Diamond Texter. The Diamond Texter. Okay, yeah, yeah. He, you be acting and fighting in the movie. Yeah. Sure. Okay. How long is the movie? Uh, it's about an hour and close to 15. That's 10, good That's 15. good timing. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty long. Sure. Wow. And when is this movie coming out? Uh, The movie comes out October 26th, and we having a red carpet premiere at the Angelic Theater. Wow. And where can people find this movie? Uh, we go. We working on that, but we we hoping to just go to like Amazon, and if Amazon not too, you know, we gotta go to Tubi or something, just to go and get out the way. Cause in November we starting on five movie pilots, cause we finna start getting like grants and stuff to our movies. Cause this last one, we kind of all just came out our pocket, like that is, yeah. So this I, is your first movie you done? Yeah, my first movie. Yes, man. How yeah. was it? Oh, uh, fun! It's the funnest movie ever. Yeah, yeah. Like this, this movie has been an adventure because uh, it was filmed at that abandoned hospital on Saeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so like, and that's like, that's like our mansion. Like that's like our home base for like the diamond texture. So like, because we volunteered there basically, yeah. and we finna open up a new hospital, but we going through shit with the city and shit. But you know, that's our home. That's our castle and shit. We meet there and we go shoot, have fun. And shit. Wow. What are yeah. the what are the um, road bumps you ran into doing Ooh, this? Road bumps. Uh, shit. Because I know you gotta run into some. Yeah, I mean several. Yeah, yeah finances became issue nah, at some point. Finances. No. Nope. What was the major one? People, uh, casting, the, the call? police, the city. Like yeah, uh, city. we'll be shooting, and then the city of Dallas, like uh. Like I had somebody out there waiting at the front gate and uh, the city of Dallas was coming by to do their checkup. They asked them, hey, what y'all doing here? The lady, she done fucked around and told them everything. So now- So y'all didn't get permits? No, nah, but I, I'm i the property manager, so you know, I can do that. It was okay. just like, uh, they just tripping, but uh, we done got it to where they done left us alone and shit and we just kind of 
you know, keep stuff low key. But we done with the movie right now, so mm -hmm. yeah, it ain't really wow. Right. I, that's courageous for you guys to even come up with. You know, most people not really get into it like they should. There's so much opportunity in, in independency now, yeah. where people can do what they want to do. Tubi, you mentioned it, man. Jamal Willard, they brought us down ATL, and and, mm -hmm. and, and basically, you know, he played Biggie. He basically, yeah, Biggie, yeah, yeah he yeah, brought yeah. us yeah. down. To, uh, we went down there, and then the King of Diamonds. I filmed him and that whole cast, uh, mm -hmm. and because they know the value of making sure they link with the podcasters and the uh, the the off the porches and the beehives and the stuff when you're doing this now because yeah. we can take the power in our own hand as uh, Mr. Servon from uh, No Limit told me we are the new you know pretty much the ones conveying and, and bringing this information to our people yeah. so we can tell our own story yeah. so at the end of the day that's why when me and you met I was like you know even though I do know your pops it was like this makes sense you know that's why I yeah. told you that I don't let everybody on this show yeah. It is hard to get on here because we be trying to figure out a way to make it have make sense, have yeah. essence for people like you who really yeah. putting people together, structuring something, who really putting their heart and, and soul into what their projects are. Okay. So we don't want to just give open the door to let any and everybody That's you know it, come on this show this because it, it needs to be something <laughs> where it can bring value to you guys, okay. people who like you who okay. really doing this and putting their time in. So thank you so much for that. Sure, thank you. Yeah. Sure. So what is the um, tell me the synopsis of this show? Like, what is it all about? Uh, the movie is about like uh, hundreds of people who get a text message about diamonds located in the hospital. And once they, you know, get to the diamonds, it's a rude awakening at the, you know, at the end just for, you know, just them getting the diamonds. It's always got to be something to the end. But it's mainly just adventure, like looking for diamonds. At mm -hmm. the end, you get, get a little different. It's action because action. you said there's fighting in it. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's action. action, fighting. There's any romance? No, nah, it's like comedy. Romance. How many females? Can I see all these men right here? Right? Oh, yeah. How many females in the show? Oh, we got a lot. Sure, yeah. it's over three hundred people, and like, uh, it's just a mixture of diverse, just everybody. Right? It was very, it's very diverse. Okay, whole, just checking because yeah. the thing is that what I want to get out to the viewers is why should they watch this show? Oh yeah, we got females. We got uh, in every group, like it's a female in every group almost. So. All the main groups, like this one guy, he traveled with four females. Mm -hmm. uh, he a pimp? Uh, the way he <laughs> looks in the movie, people go and soon that, right? <laughs> but when you watch it, you're going to be like, dang, why he with five, four girls and he in the middle, they got guns and he ain't got no guns. Mm, that's right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it's it's. So definitely. there's a lot of comedy, too. It's, yes. it's it's a, it's definitely a lot of comedy in there. Yeah. So what's the quality looking like? Cause I'm a big, big I'm very look. big yeah. on this quality. I hate these bootleg looking movies. It's not that. It's not the bootleg. You'll see when Boss Talk come out how you look on Boss Talk. Cause you Boss Talk I mean? ain't playing no games. Okay. Nah. Who, who <laughs> shot it? Who shot yeah, me? He shot it. You shot it. Yeah. Yourself. Shot, edit, directed. What about cast the audio? How'd you get that audio to mix in correctly? I right, shoot. I use. Like Lava, you, you lose lives, over, uh, over, over, yeah. yeah yeah just depending Ooh, on stuff. where we at or what we got it don't I, sound all muffled and all nah, of that stuff nah, ain't got no muffly sounds no nah. mm. nah, okay just check wow. it yeah. <laughs> you know we've we've seen a lot of people from uh my boy what's his name uh uh, C. James, mm -hmm. C. James, had, he did an independent film where he it, it went crazy and he, he mm. premiered it at the yeah. uh, it, was it at uh, down in Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas. He did multiple premieres. And what's the other guy named uh, uh, Legend? Mm -hmm. Legend Brown. Yeah. Legend Brown. Yeah. All these guys do movies that he's here. He's in terror. And then you got yeah. another guy. He does a lot of Christian films. Christian film, and they own Pure Flix. Like there is a lane. Pure Flix is a lane where if you wanted to do some clean stuff, to where you know it's a a, a look to where people who don't want to see things where you violate code when it come down to standards on what yeah. you know the good books and you don't have you have some um african-american movies on there but yeah. not enough that i would like to see yeah you know what i mean yeah. so i would love to see more of that on pure flicks so that's Correct. another yeah. avenue you could always look so towards. You, can, you yeah. can do you can be uh real transparent diverse yeah. dealing with different you know different platform whether it would be amazon whether it be yeah. uh, uh pure flicks whether it be to be there's things out there now where you you can pretty much that's why i tell people you're not loud enough or you know if you go look up boss talk you're gonna see boss talk uh, I'm real consistent. Like I said, the store been here 17 years. Been married to this woman Man, 20 crazy. years. Uh, uh, my daughter's at Brown University. Uh, this show been going on for two 
two years now. Two we years. got almost 3,000 episodes almost. It's, it's a consistency. 130 subscribers, and we started 138,000 subscribers. Yeah, that's started, what I'm, yeah, yeah th- thousand. So, yeah. so, so basically... <laughs> Uh, plus 38,000 on another channel. What I'm saying is, but it's consistency. That's why I was messing with you. There's no excuse. We have to take the bull by the horns and ride the hell out of it. Okay. But even free. then, but even then, at the same time, as much as we're doing good, we see where we could do, be doing better. 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 We, yeah. we challenge you understand what I mean? So you always have to be like that. Yeah, we can't Gross. ever be just satisfied. We always got to push. Bro. Yeah. So I think you guys, like I said, the, the, the opportunity is endless when it comes down to the fact of how you guys could take this and continue to grow and, and push, whether it be visuals. I think people who do music should be coming out with a, I think a nigga should come out with a video a week, a song a week. for. A, I got a guy that just left the show out of Kansas City, Missouri. What's his name? C.W., the uh, young blood. You have to, I, I'll give you his information. But this boy came out with a song every week. He high, he, and he tech nine's cousin, but the boy, the, yeah, the, yeah, he ready. What I'm saying, well, he he doing this thing too. But I'm just saying, uh, uh, there's a lane where people will recognize you, but you got to put that work in. Okay. Most people not willing to put that work in like that. That yeah. means you got to you got to you got to you got to sacrifice some of that time. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Yep. That's that's hard because the flesh yep. be calling. You want to get that girl. Yep. You want to get the. You want to go out here and have a good time yep. and, and kick it, yep. uh, nigga. We finna hang out. Oh, you gonna be at where? I'm going yep. to Fuel City, nigga. Ah ah ah. This yep. thing, you know, the day done went by. You just wasted the day. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, even when even when you in them times where you feel you ain't got the drive to write a song or in the music yeah. phase right now, you still gotta kind of like find some type of way to still stay active yeah. with. The, the lane you in, and, you know, and yeah, we said when you mm-hmm. think about I, just even uh, Bun B when we was just interviewing him uh, a week or so ago, writing the song, mm. he made took it to a whole nother level to where it took him not long minutes, and he was out of there because mm-hmm. he had other stuff he had to deal with. Yes. He mastered that to where he he didn't play with it. He mm. got other yeah. stuff. Do Pac did the same thing? Oh okay. yeah. No. Ain't got time to mess with it. We can do eight songs in a day, twenty songs in a day. I gotta go. Y'all can master it later. Let y'all can play whatever, do whatever y'all gotta do. I gotta, I gotta make some movies. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yes, sir. So that I don't think people are working on that level. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I got a question because you know people are gonna be asking. So why you have your shirt off now? Yeah, who you think you is? Uh, yeah, I'm doing Benjamin, you did. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak, yeah. Up to the, speak up to the mic up here a little bit. Sure. Yeah, you got your damn shirt off in here. I <laughs> uh, man, look, it's, it's still summertime to me. It's hot outside, you dig? Okay. Hottest okay. artists in the city, you dig? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, and and so what, I want to hear from this guy here. He's trying to be quiet and all that. He want to be humble. I'm going to be, you going to get left out over there. Come on up yeah. to this yeah. mic. So push your chair back a little bit, and he can. you just step forward. You can stand up and say what you got to say. And what's your Come, name too? I got you. You didn't say your name. What's up, y'all? My name is Pedro T I C. Okay. You did. Do Benji D O O B E N J I. Do Benji. So our people know who are you again? I'm a lion aura. Oh, that's yeah. hard, man. Like lion it. aura. Lion. And I'm Doobie B, baby. Doobie B. You know what I'm saying? Doobie B. Doobie B. So, like I said, I, I I can't wait to see the movie, the film. Um, I'm gonna play some of the trailer and and, and what the stuff that you did. Okay. You know, let me um uh you know look at. But I definitely can't wait to see the the whole. Project the whole film is gonna be great. I know you guys like. Oh, yeah. But you yeah. said you said where it's coming out. You said when it's coming out, but you yeah. didn't say where somebody can go and find tickets or how they can just uh, show up. We about what? to. Uh, we basically like because I'm I'm a networking dude. I can get it out to anybody. So right now we doing like reserved seats and I'm just posting them. But we'll have an event right uh, probably by the next week. So yes, what's your Instagram that they can, oh. you know, hit you up if they want to know more about this? Okay, sure. Uh, y'all can look me up, IRM Films. Or you can look the movie page up, the Diamond Texter, the, the underscore Diamond Texter underscore movie. Just hit us up and Text, we'll, you know. Texter. Yeah. yeah. The, that's why we, X, we, not S. Trust me. Yeah, <laughs> Texter. Yeah, it will texter. not come up. Yeah. Wow. I, I think you guys, are, uh, you, you got the right attitude about doing something. 
to change the mode. There ain't a lot of mi- people. I mean, only Mr. E, we interviewed him, uh, the Dirty Third. Mm-hmm. No, no, that don't Dirty Third. It was mm-hmm. a Triple D. Triple D movie. Yeah, Triple D. I did. What's yeah, that? I just so met him. Who did, mm-hmm. You did just met I just Shout met out, him. Shout out, shout out, boy. I'll be seeing you. Okay. Um, and uh, then uh, Rec Shop in Houston, we did uh, d Rec. We mm-hmm. did their whole cast, too, Propane. Yeah. We did all. Anybody that's doing something, we in the build. They call us. Hey, man, come up here. We want we want y'all to uh, interview us so we can push this out there to the waves. And I think that's live. Oh, like sorry. I said, again, just taking it and doing something to where we create a narrative where people can see our people the way they want to. Man, this man said we're going to do the movie in three days. You hear me? It turned to a whole year. We done built a whole family with it, man. It's been a whole journey, like this whole ride yeah. being like a bonding family thing. You know That's what I'm hard. saying? Through the whole, the whole yeah. process. And all of us been doing things on the on the outside right. of it, and we and all support works. each other. You say you just come back from Times Square for Fashion Week. How was yeah. that for you? Oh yeah, man. That put me on some <laughs> supermodel status, man. Had you been there before? <laughs> no, this is my first time, bro. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but you need to make sure you check out Magic. Uh, I've been going to Magic uh, since. Uh, that's in, in Vegas. That's in Vegas. Uh, every six months since 07, 08. Yeah. Uh, every six months. Go out there. If you think Fashion Week something, you'll love, you'll love uh, Vegas for Fashion Week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. So, uh, yeah, I have a chance to go out there, too. I just like, dang. It's I in just August. Got back from it's, no, it's in, it's in August and February only. Really? Yeah. Look it up. They, have, they have another one that's coming. No, no, not, not in Vegas. Not in Vegas. They have them in all the cities. Oh, yeah. Okay, but Vegas okay. is August and February. Okay. Look it okay. up. Yes, sir. You can go at any time, but that's the one of the coldest. That's the better one. Yeah, August and February. You'll see. Uh, been going on for years. You, Dame and John, when they started Fubu, that's why they linked up with uh, Carl yeah. Kanai and uh, stuff like that. So it's stuff you can meet a lot of relationships yeah, there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, man, just like I said, anything that you're into. Man, get that camera out, guys. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Figure out a way to monetize it, man. Don't be out here working for free because you don't have to. Oh, no, okay. oh yeah. You feel me? Like, yes, like, sir. like, yes, sir. huh? Monetize. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're not doing that, well, then you. Yeah, we you, monetize. We've been monetizing for about 10 years. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I've been monetizing for years. That's hard, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and I'm still nice. learning how because I got my own lane I got to build. I invented spoken word lab dances. Wow. And so to, and it's for couples, it's, it's built to teach how to serenade properly. And I gotta learn how to monetize that properly and get it in the right lanes. Correct, correct. Well, it's definitely a, a lot of people out there, a lot of avenues and doors that can open for you if you know the right people. I'll just say it like yeah. that. Uh, you guys got, you know, it's so many levels to doing everything that you do. Just yeah, keep sure. your eyes and ears open to everything and, and be respectful in a way to where people are, are succumbing to you and they'll let you in on what's going on with what they do. Yes, sir. You know, man, don't man, know y'all, already. Y'all, y'all go watch Too Hard, man. Do Benjamin. Too Hard. I got the hottest mic drop in the city, man. At the Dallas okay. BT Awards, man. Shout out to RM Awards. Films, man. Okay. You did. We going all the way up. Everything hard. Wow. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming on the show, man. Um, okay. Man, I appreciate you guys, man. I can't wait to see the the, the film when it comes out. Yeah, y'all we'll, got we'll, tickets, we'll, too. We'll y'all. We yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, we'll come back. Come for sure, man. Yeah. Definitely, man. Hey, man, thank you guys for coming on the mm-hmm. show. Yeah. Say the date one more time. Oh, we having a movie, Red Carpet Premiere, October. This, this, which camera? Yeah, anyway. Anyway. We got a bunch of. Okay, <laughs> hey, we having a Red Carpet Movie Premiere, October 26th. Red Carpet start at 6.30, man. Y'all got to be there. We go. I'm talking about, okay. we, we only got 300 seats. So if we set them out, like. Which we are, cause it's three hundred mo- people in the movie. <laughs> they already, they already told me that we go better to get the theater next to it, and whoever just couldn't get in this theater, they can go in that theater. So man, we yeah. gonna feel that bad boy. Yeah, up. We gonna feel one four coming yeah. out. It's a few people that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Man, check it, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Love you guys, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing it for our people, bro. We okay. need y'all, man. Okay, yes, check it, man. Boss Talk 101 has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out. Okay.